everyone. Welcome to another edition of Mask Monday. Um, I have a peel off mask on. It's a little sticky. Um, it's this one by K Bella. It's a plumping um, gold peel off mask and it's like sparkly. I don't know if you guys can see. Well, it's starting to dry. I put it on a few minutes ago. Um, maybe like five minutes ago. So while that is drying, I'm going to do try to do get through two would you rather um, tags. The first one is a Valentine's Day one that I just wanted to do because Valentine's Day is next week. Um, and then the other one is the would you rather you edition <laughs> that Kim from these boxes tagged me in. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> so I'll try to get through these as fast as I can. So let's do the Valentine's Day one first. And if anyone didn't do this, it's, well, by the time you guys see this, it'll be too late to do it for Mask Monday because Valentine's Day would be over unless you watch this in the morning and you want to do your Mask Monday later in the day, I guess. But anyway, I'll still do it just so you guys can hear my answer. So there's 10 questions on this one. And I'm looking at my, got my laptop here. So if, if I keep looking away from the camera, it's because I'm reading the questions here. So the first question is, um, would you rather host a Valentine's party or be a guest? Um, probably host. I like hosting. Um, would you rather eat only food that is red or eat only food that is white? It's such a weird question. Um, but I think I'd say red because I love fruit and some of my favorite fruits are red, like strawberries and raspberries. So I'm going to go with red. Um, would you rather receive 100 roses or 100 pieces of chocolate? I think the most popular answer from the ones I've seen are people say chocolate. I'm going to say roses. I know they die, but I love them and I love the way they smell. So I'm going with roses. <laughs> um, would you rather give up candy for a year or showers for a year? Candy. Easy peasy. I could do it. No problem. And as a matter of fact, I did do it for quite a while. And even now I really, rarely eat it. Um... Would you rather have pink air, pink hair, excuse me, or purple eyes? Um, I actually wouldn't mind having either one of those two. As a matter of fact, both at the same time would be kind of fabulous. Um, purple eyes would be like, um, like Elizabeth Taylor had violet eyes. Very, very rare. Um, and pink hair, like that's no big deal anymore. Um, so I think either one, although purple eyes would be more fun, I think. Um, would you rather be able to read people's minds or heal people's bodies? Heal people's bodies. Um, would you rather celebrate Valentine's Day at home or in a fancy restaurant? I would say at home, but I would be lying. And only reason why I'm saying that is because we've been doing everything at home for like the last year. So I would love to be able to go to a fancy restaurant and like feel safe. Um, still don't know if we're going to go out to eat or not. We're still debating. We would probably end up getting carry out. Um, anyway, um, would you rather know what animals are thinking or what humans are thinking? Animals. Although I think Coco's every thought would be, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Because all she does is give us kisses like all day long. I'd love to know what the cat is thinking. Um, would you rather sing in public or dance in public? Dance. I'm a terrible singer. Um... Give up french fries or chocolate for six months. Honestly, I could give up either one of them. Seriously, I could. Um, french fries would be easier for me now. Like a couple years ago, I would have I would have said, no way could I give up french fries, but fried food makes me ill. So, um, yeah. Okay. That was the end of the Valentine's one. Let's do the EU edition. There are 20 of these, so I'm going to try to whip through this as fast as I can because this is... It's still a little sticky on the side, but it's getting there. Um, and I just don't want the video to be too long. So the first question is, would you rather have a foot for a face <laughs> or worms coming out of your nose every time you sneeze? Worms, just because, you know, you don't sneeze as often versus if you had a foot for a face, it would always be there. Um, would you rather lick the dirty cafeteria floor or stick your face in the toilet for one minute? Uh, lick the floor. Obviously, these are written by like school age kids. Um, would you rather eat a pine cone covered in peanut butter or eat hay and grass salad with mud dressing? A pine cone covered in peanut butter. Would you rather have foot long fingernails or foot long toenails? Fingernails. And I know that that would be like a weird kind of a handicap, but 
I can't deal with long toenails. Um, would you rather wear footy PJs everywhere you go or constantly wear diapers as pants? Footy PJs? Like, who wouldn't want to do that? Especially in the wintertime. That would be freaking awesome. If I could wear footy PJs right now, like, in public, I would totally do it. Um, would you rather explode like shaking, like a shaken Coca-Cola can when you get angry or pop open like a can of biscuits when you bottle up your emotions? What? Freaking weird questions. Um, probably pop open like a can of biscuits only because I don't bottle up my emotions that much. I'm pretty much one of those people that wears my heart in my sleeve. So, so my thought was that would happen less often than the shaken like Coca-Cola can when I'm angry. Um, would you rather wrestle a giant sweaty sumo wrestling elephant or play contact football with a shedding spastic panda. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, contact football with a shedding spastic panda. Because it's a panda and they're adorable. And I'd want to give it kisses and hugs. Because they're so cute and fluffy. Um, would you rather sleep on dirty concrete for a month. Or sleep in a pigsty for a week. Um, I think a pigsty. Just because dirty concrete for a whole month, that sounds awful. Would you rather build a gingerbread house out of living roly-polies and cement or make a giant Christmas cake out of earwax and trash remains? Oh, jeez. Um, a gingerbread house. Would you rather wear a fish-scented jacket on a first date or an onion-scented hat when meeting your favorite celebrity? Gosh. Um, the onion scent a hat, I guess. Because, you know, you're meeting a celebrity and it's more like, oh, wow, you know, I'm a big fan. And then that's it. Where if it's a first date, you want it to, like, lead to something. That's my thought. Um, would you rather eat a rotten squid donut with eyebrow sprinkles or snack on dried scabs with a side of rotten toenails? Only you know this was some young boy wrote this, like some 12-year-old boy. Um, God. I can't do eyeballs, so it would have to be the scabs with rotten toenails. <laughs> would you rather clean a litter box with your bare hands or clean a cat using only your tongue? Probably a litter box with bare hands because as gross as that would be, it'd be much easier to wash my hands than to get the cat hair off your tongue. Ugh. Um, would you rather have to drink a cup of spoiled milk or wash your face with rotten sour cream? Wash my face. I couldn't drink spoiled milk. Um, would you rather have toenails that are six inches long or nose hairs that look like mustaches? Gosh. Now, I'm kind of backing up on what I said on the other one because I could not deal with long nose hairs, so I'd have to say toenails that are six inches long. Would you rather touch your grandpa's sweaty armpit or rub your grandma's feet after a long day in the sun? This one makes me sad because, you know, I don't have any grandparents anymore. Um, but I think I would rub my grandma's feet after a long day in the sun. That would be sweet. Yeah, it would be stinky, but it'd be not as bad as an armpit. Um, would you rather wear melted caramel as sunscreen or sticky hot fudge as a lotion? What a strange question. So, I would say the hot fudge is lotion only because the caramel sunscreen isn't, is going to just get more gooey and I'd get sunburned because I am very pasty in case you couldn't tell. Um, would you rather only be able to, swell, to smell excuse me, sweaty armpits or dirty diapers for the rest of your life? Gosh, sweaty armpits. Would you rather have to mow the yard by eating grass or clean the gutters by drinking the water? Um, eating the grass, I think. I don't know why, but that's what I'm going with. Would you rather walk on a carpet made of cockroaches or swim in a bathtub made with living worms? Oh, God. Um, I can't stand cockroaches. They just give me the willies, but I don't like worms either. I'll go with the worms. Last one, thank God. Um, would you rather have to smell rotten food all day or smell the sp 
spray of a skunk all night. Skunk. That smell isn't like, it, yeah, it's not great, but it's not horrible. The skunk one, but rotten food is just, that would make me want to hurl. Okay, well, it looks like it's starting to, there's still a few spots that are sticky, but it wants to come off. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. Hopefully I can get it all off. And if not, I will just do the rest on off camera. I have to take my glasses off. This is the part that I hate. I should bring a mirror in here, a handheld mirror for when I do this, and I forget every time. Ooh. I like this peel. I've done I've done this brand before, not this particular gold one, but I've done other K Bella peels before. I get these at Target. Um, they were like um, you know, buy four, get one free or something like that. And I want to say they're like two bucks each, three bucks each, something like that. I don't remember. I bought them before Christmas, so forgive me. I'm old. I don't remember. <laughs> but they're, they do give a really good peel. Ooh. I still got to go in. I'll have to go in and rinse off. There was one little spot here where it was on too thick so that didn't dry but I didn't want to wait any longer because the rest of it was like starting to crack. So I have a few spots I missed but I got most of it so I will get the rest of it off camera like I said. I hope everybody's having a great day, a great Monday and hope you all had a great weekend and please like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks, bye.